I think the thing with playing live, if you listen to electronic music, the hallmark of it is that it's played by computers and it's absolutely in time in a way that human beings can't reproduce. But you, don't, you know, there's a different kind of need in playing live in, that, in a kind of more band-based arrangement and that's a need for feel. For quite a few years, we were looking for a way to, to do a live show and we, we sort of played with the idea of doing a, a fully electronic live show, um, you, know, ha you know, maybe having live vocals but backing tracks or then doing fully electronic or then doing like a hybrid that's a little bit more like a live thing and a little bit more electronic. And we could never really find a version of that kind of a show that we felt that really absolutely worked and then um, I suppose it really originated from from uh, maybe it was Love Is Not Enough which is one of our tracks and and um, Tony's friend Bob Bradley uh, did this incredible chill remix of it and I suppose that that was probably one of the sparks that started the acoustic suddenly we saw that maybe there is a way to do a live show but Maybe we need to sort of forget this genre constraints and go for something totally different. This is my final day. I'm gonna go out smiling. A king for a day. The nice thing about the, the way that the acoustic arrangements sound is they sound human. Uh, they sound like real, you know, what it is, real drummers, real bass players, real harpists, real strings, real piano, real everything else. So the the need for absolute, utter precision is not there. Um, when you hear a band of 15 people trying to play perfectly in time, it'll never sound like a machine. But if you hear one of our records played by 15 people, it'll sound like a mess. In DJing, is really done mostly before you go out on tour because you've, um, you know, you've written your tracks, you've remixed whatever else you're going to play as well, and made your edits. Whereas, you know, for us. To actually go and play as a band is is quite a step outside that comfort zone uh, and something different and it's exciting because the two feed into each other as well because when we go back in the studio and start writing more music we've been kind of doing more of a traditional band thing which helps do something different maybe in dance music to other people. I think. Especially for mixing an album like Acoustic um, you want a certain aesthetic to it and using things like the Space Echo and the, the new um, Spring Reverb they've brought out just gives you that sound so instantly rather than reaching for a kind of synthetic reverb or you know a perfect delay and Universal Audio have just done an incredible job of modelling those bits of kit. Tone is really really important um, when mixing and producing because um, that's what gives your records character in a sense. Everyone's working with the same tools um, and you need to kind of stand out somehow with, with stuff like that and I think, I think that gives you that kind of character and you know the harmonics that they dial in on some of those plugins is fantastic. You know the technical aspects of production are so fascinating to me that <laughs> I then turned off the computers and started playing the piano and uh, that's been a wonderful thing for me to then go the other way and, and actually have a means of making music that's completely free of that digital thinking for me. In some respects the acoustic tour enables us to play some venues that we have no right in playing and gives us a kind of a guise in which we can go into places like the Albert Hall and the Sydney Opera House and the Hollywood Bowl and do a show. Uh, when we played the Greek theatre with Acoustic One, I think we'd done maybe, f well, we'd done four shows together when we walked on the stage at the Greek theatre. We have no Kinda right weird. to be there <laughs> after four gigs, you know. Who, who gets to do that? So uh, we're really delighted that we have this fantastically loyal fan base that allow us to do these different things and still come and see us, depending on, or regardless of what it is that we're doing, DJing or playing acoustically. Mm -hmm.